Okay, um, here's a video on protecting your license. It was kind of a, a side comment, a question. I think it was from John Montoya. He, or Montana, I'm sorry. He had, I think he had like three, three or four questions. And, 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 and this was a side question. And I think he was referencing a previous video I think I did. I, I, I'm, I wasn't sure the context he was asking this question of. But I, it is, it's, it is a common lament. And it was one of the reasons said to me by my preceptor, my main preceptor, and why she she quit bedside. Um, she quit bedside about a year after she finished precept. Not, maybe not even. Maybe I drove her to it. That was just too crazy of a preceptee. You know, no, no. She, 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 her exact words were, I'm fearful for my license and I'm not gonna expose myself to these risks. And by the way, my organization is is magnet certified, like, I don't know, seven, eight years. It's considered one of the top hospitals in the nation and definitely in the in, in the state and definitely in the region. And I have New York City, and, you know, there's, there's like three or four top hospitals in the region, you know, um, like one to 10, you know, I think we're 50. <laughs> something like that. So we're top, you know, but out of like 4,000 hospitals or something like that. That's not bad, right? But even with that kind of high ranking and prestige, that was that concern that she had. And she's been a nurse for 20 years, now 20, 24, 25 years now. Um, but she took a step back and, and went to basically, I guess quality controls without saying too much on it. So she kind of worries about that now as a full-time gig um management basically um so there is concern and and then that this is why i say I, I wasn't sure where john was coming from this on like is, is he talking about ratios is he talking about medications is he talking about patient um uh, interaction, not just ratios, but interactions like, you know, uh, being assaulted. As, I mean, I wasn't quite sure um, because the protocols in place, if you follow them, they're great and they'll protect your license. But, but I, I have a critique that patient safety isn't always, there are oddities. There are some quirky loopholes that sometimes patient safety is not number one then. And that's a concern, right? But if you follow protocol, you'll protect your license. But sometimes you also have to weigh that. The, the, the problem becomes you're weighing patient safety in that. And I actually have been in a number of those situations where, where I tried to sidle on patient safety or patient comfort or patient care. And I was called out on it. Okay. So I got into trouble even though they're like, you know, off, off the record, they were like, well, honestly, I, I see why you did that. And you took your patient's care into account first. But our protocol is this. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? All right. Okay. It, it was just an, an odd loophole. It's, I don't know if they closed it, but it was a weird scenario. I'm not going to get into it. Patient safe, patient safe is the way I look at it. I, I, I only care about my patients because, again, I, I, I nurse like they're my children. So I'm protecting my children, you know. And when that comes into play, my my, 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 my license is worthless anyway. What am I doing this for? I mean, you know, I, I do it for money, yes, and feed them uh, and do for self-satisfaction. Yes, us older adults, we have that Maslow's hierarchy of stuff. But, you know, I mean, my children are more important than that. You know, and then my patients, therefore, in in pro by proxy. Um, I that's why I'm I'm wondering if if John was thinking about that that comment was talking about that, or something a little more mundane like nuts and bolts, and and I have another I have a suggestion for that if that's the case like you know are are we operating without protection? Always follow your PP. PPE rules, you know, I mean, realistically you do it as, you know, the other day I, I had to rush into uh, a, a, a patient's room ungloved and whatever and I was like, oh god, I hope he washes his hands. <laughs> but I had to do it to help 
because the patient or would have been there would have been an injury, what have you. Again, patient care. Now, protocol, and that's that's a good example. Is that is protocol followed there, Ray? No, I didn't. But it was a question of my coworker safety, whatever. And it wasn't like I was putting myself at at significant risk. I washed my hands a number of times after that, and it's like, yeah, you know, that kind of thing. I made sure I didn't eat right after that, right? But I just, I was in the hallway. I wasn't my patient. It wasn't whatever. I just happened to, you know. Um, but don't get me wrong. If it was a TB patient or a COVID patient, uh, and I've seemed to be always getting COVID patients now for some reason, you count up. You got to do your mask. You got to do the, your gloves. You got to do the PPE. All right. And in the height of COVID, I remember, you know, codes would happen and you had to do it. And the flatlining. You had to get your, you had to thought, and you had, this is beginning COVID. It took like five or five minutes to correctly dawn. There was certain ways another nurse had to help you, blah, blah, blah. This was back when everybody was progressive care. Everybody was basically, they were dying. Everybody was dying. And they said, no, 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 don't just rush in there and start compressing because you're just getting face full of COVID. Real fresh COVID too. Dying COVID. First strain, first level, zombie level, you know? No. So they, they quickly changed that. said, no, you finish your donning and doffing, and then you go in, and you deal with the code then. And you had to do it that way. And you should do it that way. No offense, even to this day, because you're good, you're, you're no good to anyone dead. You know, codes don't have very good outcomes anyway. It's, and I always liken it to the, um, the, and on people have flown. Most people have flown, right? What's the safety card say to you? You put the mask over yourself first and then your child because you're no good to the child if you're dead. You know, if you've fainted, whatever, child's deader than the doornail, right? So you got to take care of yourself. Make sure you're good. Then you can help your child. You can save your child. So I always use that example when people say, hey, wait a minute. I say, no, that's why. It's kind of like when, when you're doing... Uh, the uh, the grand code, uh, what do you call it? the super code for uh, ACLS. You make sure the scene is safe before you you uh, apply aid because you cannot help anybody by doing that. You're 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 no help to you can't administer help by doing that. So that's that's a, maybe a mundane thing that he's talking about. Another thing is getting liability insurance for yourself you you're gonna have liability insurance with the hospital oh yay great don't trust that always this is an always there's very few things i say always there's very few things i say yes no black and white this is black and white this is a hundred percent of the time always have your own liability insurance always never for once do not have it reason being they will be on your side that you will have your own attorneys on your side you know that's like saying getting into an accident and using the other side's attorney not going to be good or a third party's attorney no you want your attorneys because if something hits the fan something's happening whether you're right or wrong all right just right or wrong i'm just saying you're 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 called into deposition or or being sued that liability company that you hired that you and it's not a lot of money it's worth it. If it's a full paycheck, so be it. It's not even close to that. It's a couple hours of shifts in, 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 in your pay. May, yeah, maybe three or four hours of pay it, on average. It depends what you ask for and whatever coverage and whatever company and whatever you can buy into. I think I, I get it from CNA, but you can get it for anyone. I think Hartford, I, I think it's it changed to Hartford or whatever. Anyone, it doesn't matter. They're going to send an attorney for you from them. Because they're on the hook to protect you. So they're going to send their own corporate attorneys. And your hospital attorney is going to be like, oh, you don't need them. We're going to look out for you. Bullshit. They're going to hang your ass out to dry. They will screw you and crucify you and turn on you in a second to save their asses. All right. If by chance your attorney and their attorney can defend you together, that's great. If their, their defense is great for you, so be it. But. If they're looking to cut a deal and screw you to the wall, they will do so. Okay? They will do so because they have no morals. They have no loyalty, nothing whatsoever. You get hit by a bus, 
the ad for your replacement is there the next morning. All right, terminate you. Basically, most states are terminated at will. You, you know, whereas you have to give the two week notice, whatever, blah, blah, blah. No loyalties in corporate America. Let's just say that, you know, in corporate America. I had, I showed loyalty to my people, but I was in corporate America. I was a private owner. And I was appreciated by my employees who, you, who, you know, the ones that left and came back or, or when I sold the company, they all voiced that. They said, you know, I, I could have worked higher with more pay here or there. I like working with you better, right? Thank you. You know, and I said, oh, thank you. <laughs> Cause I didn't know that. And they're like, yeah, every time I, I, I you know, I did look cause I need more money, but I was like, forget it. They, they're assholes. <laughs> It wasn't worth the difference in pay. And a couple of times people left and then they came back. They said, do you mind if I come back? The money differential wasn't as much. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't pay you more. And that was more of the issue for me. But like I said, always, always have your liability insurance. So maybe those two issues or those couple of issues are what John was asking for. Again, questions, critiques, comments, fire away. If that didn't answer the question, you know, shoot me. Uh, I, I used to answer private messages, you know, DMs. Um, sometimes I'll, 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 usually most of those times I'll just answer them in, in email form. I won't make a video. Uh, or I don't, I, I don't feel the need to make a video because I answered it directly. But if sometimes I think the topic, excuse me, warrants it, I will put it up. Okay. Good luck.